Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. In today's video, as you can see, we have a couple of this year's 2023 holiday dolls. And we have the 35th anniversary holiday Barbie. Uh, she is wearing a gold dress. I opted to get the Teresa or the Hispanic uh, looking Barbie, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think the dress and her hair combination together is beautiful. There's another picture of her on the back and the other three that you can get this year. And if you want to read that blurb, you can pause the video and read that. And of course it's made by Mattel, as all Barbie are. And here is the proof of purchase or UPC if you want to find it. Now I did find this at a local store that uh, is called Fred Meyer. They're notorious for high prices, especially on toys. But they had her on sale for, I think it was like $30. The retail for these is around $45, but you're probably going to find it on sale, especially right now, this time of year. Um, you can order these online. I will put links to some uh, of the listings. I think Target probably has them, but I'll have to double check that in Amazon and Walmart. Uh, but we have that one, and then we also have, also made by Mattel, the Monster High Holiday. So you can read it right there. Winter Edition. And this is uh, Claudine Wolf. And this uses the classic Monster High sculpt from the original line get some really nice close-ups there and it does have a little story there in four different languages that you can read if you want I feel like that's a little blurry maybe I don't know uh, and then there is the barcode for her now I ordered this one from Mattel Creations a while back and I believe she's still available. I will put a link to her as well. Um, I have not seen this in any stores, whereas this one I've seen at Target, uh, Fred Meyer, um, and various other stores. But this specific one I only found at Fred Meyer here. You, you might, the ones that I see a lot of are Barbie, the blonde, and the I've seen the um, the dark haired one here. I have not seen this one other than at Fred Meyer. So anyway, we have those today. So I'm gonna unbox these because I'm sure the process is going to be very involved. And we'll be right back. And we're back. And I got them both out of the box. And it was a little bit of an ordeal. They always put so many fasteners, tiny, tiny little fasteners holding fabric together. And then I had to figure out the stands because uh, the stand for the model Muse body, which is what they use for Barbie, is a little different. It's, it's like a very curvy piece of plastic. You can see it kind of curves up and it holds both the legs in a very specific way. Uh, but my first impressions of this holiday Barbie is she has really nice hair. Um, there's still some threads in it because they do hold the hair in with thread and she also came with the, you know, typical certificate of authenticity and it's blank on the back it's just a little piece of paper it's nothing real fancy 
Uh, but this outfit, I was not very fond of when I first saw the pictures for this holiday Barbie. But now that I have it in front of me, it's really nice. It has a lot of detail to it. Um, I know last year's a lot of people were kind of disappointed with the attention to detail to the dress. It was really, really simple and red and didn't have a lot of detail to it. Um, I actually have three of last year's because I really liked the way it looked, but I have yet to open any of them because I just didn't have the time when I got them. <laughs> uh, so I might open one up after Christmas this year just for fun. Uh, specifically, I have the Odeal face, which she has red hair. I'll put a picture of her here. And last year's Holiday Barbies, I've been seeing at like discount stores like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, and I think Ollie's, which I don't have here and I wish we did. Uh, Ollie's is another discount store and they have that one as well. So you might still be able to find that one. Now this one, she does have really pretty gold high heels and they're really shiny just molded that way and she has gold star earrings and this specific one has her hair done up in a ponytail which i think looks really really beautiful uh, it does need a good comb or maybe a wash uh, some of the glitter is coming off of this as I'm showing it off. It's all over my desk, which, you know, that happens. Um, and she also has this shawl that you can untie, so you could totally remove that if you wanted to, and then it would look, you know, something like that, which, which is also very elegant looking. I really love the face up on this. She has a really, really pretty face. Mine does not seem to have pixelization. It looks really clean and it's not crooked either. It's just, it's very, very well printed on there. So she also has uh, painted nails. They're painted red. And they match, I think they match her lip color, which is also a red color. And then she has this uh, bracelet as well, which kind of looks like stars that match the dress and the earrings. Uh, my particular doll is very stiff. Like she does not want to pose very well. So you can always warm that up with a hair dryer, and that will help with posability. And this Model Muse body specifically, she has the two bent arms. I know sometimes there's a straight arm. Um, let me look at this, I don't know if... Yeah, so you can see on uh, this one, I think this is Kira face sculpt. I could be wrong, but I think that's Kira. She has one straight arm down and then one bent arm. And then I think Barbie is the opposite. It looks like that's a straight arm on that side. So it's kind of interesting how each one is posed differently. So if you get all of them, they would look really cool together and lined up. So that's Barbie. Very, very pretty. I definitely am glad that I got this and I'm really glad I took it out of the box and she's going to be a Christmas decoration in my home for the rest of the season. And then here we have Claudine Wolf. Uh, she also came with a stand and it's the Skullette from Monster High. Um, and the way the stand works is very similar to the stand with the Barbie. It just goes up between the legs to hold her. I did have some trouble getting that stand to work. Oh, and I just found, excuse my hand, her dress is actually attached. So there we go. 
that might actually help with the flow the way that looks now the fabric it's you can kind of hear it's a little papery but it looks really pretty it has spider web detail with sparkles stars and moons and it's all embossed in gold she has a shawl which um, it's more of a jacket I think it goes over her shoulders I think it's actually might be I don't know how that's on there actually it looks like it's just a ring this is just a big ring and then they have it kind of wrapped around her now her hair I will admit feels really bad it's <laughs> it's kind of feels greasy and this is obviously polypropylene hair but it's sort of soft at the same time but this hair definitely needs some care um, I might try washing it uh, I would be afraid to undo her hair though because she does have it um, there's elastics holding the hair so I'd probably leave that in and the crown that she's wearing which is really pretty by the way has uh, sun or sorry moons moon phases now I would just leave that in because it is attached with the little plastic fasteners like they use to keep the doll in the package but yeah this hair definitely needs a good wash um, it's really pretty though it has multiple colors in it so there is that and then she also has a necklace that's a black bow with a gold moon and she has a matching belt that goes with the crown and she has a matching wrist bow with a moon on it and she has the articulation that the old doll the old monster high dolls have because it's using that old body so she does have the knee articulation and they can turn and she also has the elbow articulation and the shoulder and the wrist which is really nice um, so I mean I I think for the price for $45 if that's what you have to pay um, she does come with more accessories than the Barbie kind of <laughs> um, she does not have earrings in her ears are actually up here on her head but you can see there's little notches where they would have put an earring so they just didn't punch the hole through it looks like and then she also has these really beautiful shoes which are a translucent purple with gold moons i think those are absolutely beautiful and they might even work on the newer monster high dolls um, i would have to test that to see they might actually have different sized feet if i now that i'm thinking about it um, i do have claudine wolf from the g3 and this is basically a g1 claudine so i like both of these dolls i think this one doesn't really scream winter or holiday to me as much as it's like maybe more of a new year's uh theme to be honest it feels more like she's going to a party for new year's and she's all glammed up um i think the face is really beautiful she has very pretty yellow eyes and her lips are actually sparkly they have uh, glitter on them they're kind of gold so i think she's absolutely beautiful and together they actually don't look bad because they have the gold together uh, obviously these are different lines of dolls so they're very different statures 
And they are both made by Mattel. And Claudine also came with a um, certificate of authenticity. And this one's actually nicer paper. It's sort of textured. Um, see that? It has like a texture to it. It's actually nicer than the Barbie one, even though they're both made by Mattel. So that's interesting how different they can be made by the same company. Uh, but I do like both of them. I think I prefer the Barbie. She's very classic looking, but purple is my favorite color. So I'm, I'm liking this one a lot too. It's hard to, it's hard to choose which one I like better. As far as hair goes, this one has much nicer hair. So we'll go with that one as my favorite. Now, I was disappointed this year that Rainbow High didn't come out with a holiday doll. Last year's holiday doll, I don't think it sold very well. I got mine on clearance for ridiculously cheap. Um, I do have her back there. She's not real easy to get to, so I'll just pop in a photo of her here so you can see and she was beautiful but she came with a really bizarre stand gimmick that has a little switchy thing that you can move her back and forth while she's in the box but once you take her out of the box it doesn't really work very well now this year i went ahead and made my own custom rainbow high holiday doll now this is a cheerleader or cheer jade hunter and i have added some red eye makeup and i added some different red on her lips to match that and i got rid of the face paint she had on her cheek here and then i gave her blushing to kind of hide that and then i dyed her hair a darker green down here and then i curled it um, i didn't have any earrings for her to wear unfortunately um, i had some um, from a mini brand but they wouldn't stay in her ears without me basically gluing them in <laughs> now she's wearing um, a barbie holiday dress from the santa uh, Barbie that you can get. It came out last year, but I saw it again this year at Target. Uh, I've had this from last year, and she's wearing boots and a jacket from Natasha from Shadow High. I think it's Natasha. And <laughs> she's um, the white doll right here in the middle. It's her alternate outfit. I gave her um, I was going to dye them green, and then I decided not to because I thought it looked really great in white. And I'm really happy with how she turned out. So she's here to visit these two for Christmas. And she brought gifts for everybody. So we have three Rainbow High trunks of the handbags that I'm going to open real quick and a mini fashion so this could be a this is a bag and some accessories and i'm hoping there's something in these that they can use i think that would be really cool especially the purple for her but we will see so let's go ahead and see what we got in here i love these uh, rainbow high bags now let me show you the box though before i open it so it says series one, there's 25 plus. I have some of these already. It includes everything you see here. There's like a receipt, a bag to store it in, the actual bag, purse, whatever, backpack that you'll get, and a certificate. And here is the barcode. And I think, oops, come on. There we go. The barcodes are all the same, no matter what color they are. So let's go ahead and try to do this 
quickly. I don't want this video to be too long. <laughs> so, I bought many of these handbags and the shoes, um, but these were on sale at my local store. So when you open it up, you'll have the checklist, and then in the little drawer, you'll have the bag, the handbag. And then this is the storage bag that you can store it in, which these are really nice. I really like those. And then in the lid is the receipt and the certificate, which is really cool. And you can actually see on this which bag you get. So if you can read it, it's really, really tiny, tiny print. So let's see what we got. Ooh, this is a new one for me. This is probably Violet's bag that is really pretty it has a purple strap and it's a velcro enclosure and you can actually put things inside of it so you know what this is perfect come here claudine this is perfect for claudine there we go perfect i'm so happy so you got a present from Holiday Jade here. Although I might come up with a different name for her. Maybe her name is like Holly. So I usually just put this all back in here and I don't normally keep the boxes, but for now we're just gonna put that over here and I'll show you the checklist real quick. And it will be the same for all three of these. On one side, it shows all the handbags that you can get. And on the other side, it shows all the shoes that you can get. So. I'm so happy we got a new one for my collection. I am keeping track of all those on my own checklist, which I'll have to mark off later. Uh, I don't want to bother looking for it right now. It's in my drawer up here, but I just I want to get these open and see what we found. Let's see. Here's our next one. This doesn't seem familiar to me. Oh, yeah. This is new as well. Look at this. It's like a bag with a similar handle to the uh, purple one and it says rainbow paris and it does have drawstrings that you can tighten and then you can put things inside of it and everything so that's really cute and then it comes with a pink bag and of course with all that too so that's really cute. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Forgot to put that in there. All right, so nobody really, doesn't really go with anyone here, but we'll just, we'll just sit the bag here so you can see it. All right. Last Rainbow High one. There is a certain bag that I'm hoping we got, and I think we got it. Yes, it's this backpack. And it's translucent and sparkly and holographic. And it's also Velcro, and if you put anything in there, you can totally see it through the thing. That is really, really cool. I am very excited that we got that one. <laughs> I've been looking at that one on the checklist and hoping that I could get it. So if you want it, it's in this blue box. Sometimes the different colors have different um, options. So you might not always get the same one. So, And then we have the Mini Fashion Ball Series 2. There is a Series 3 of these, but it doesn't say Series 3 on it anywhere that I can see. It's really weird. Um, and here is the barcode for that one. So, 
Uh, these you can get. These in the Rainbow High. The Rainbow High bags are kind of hard to find now. I think they've clearanced them out at most stores, but I found those at Fred Meyer for $4.99 each. So I think that's the going price for those, and Fred Meyer had them on sale for that. Because as I've said, Fred Meyer is expensive. But if you can get a deal there, often the deals are really good. So, so let's see what bag we got. I've already bought a few of these, so I might get the same ones. So you crack that open, and it comes with two bags and a checklist. And I'll show you the checklist real quick. So this is series two. There's suitcases, there's all kinds of accessories, rare items, and there's even dogs, which I have a few of those. I think each set has dogs now. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I got a hat. Okay, this is awesome. Come on, there we go. It says MF for mini fashion. It's rubber, so that you can fit that on Barbie. There you go. Now you got a fancy hat. Look at that. And then it also came with a thing of Tic Tacs that look very realistic. They even move around. Orange flavor. And then it also came with this wallet. That's on a that has a chain on it, and I believe these open. Um, maybe not. Okay, they do. They open. So you can open that. The attention to detail to these is always amazing. Now the chain does connect to the closure, so you just have to make sure you get that back on there before you close it back up. There we go. So there you go, now you have your wallet and your hat to go out on the town. And it comes with a sticker that usually is one of the bags. Now this, this is the bag. And we got the shoe purse. It's sparkly, it has a pink heel, and it even has a zipper and actually opens. Look at that. It does have some paper inside to keep its shape. I think this one might be rare. Let's take a look. It is, it's a rare. It's right there. So we got the rare shoe purse. That is awesome. Here, we'll give you the shoe purse. <laughs> now you all have accessories and bags and you're ready to go out. Oh, and then the Tic Tacs you could put in the purse too. <laughs> so there we have it. That was a lot of fun. Um, kind of all over the place a little bit, but I did want to show off my custom Rainbow High doll and I wanted to open these beautiful holiday Barbies and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying all my videos. I know I kind of go all over the place but I collect a lot of things and I know some people prefer other prefer dolls to action figures and vice versa so anyway um, more videos on the way of course and I love you guys and I really appreciate all your support and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications and I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful holiday season Merry Christmas Happy New Year Happy Hanukkah uh, I love you guys again thank you and I'll talk to you soon see you next time bye